got some fresh snow today and we're headed over to a friend's house. My friend Chip called me this morning and said, hey, you want to play in the snow? He's got some pretty cool vehicles, so we're going to go over there and mess around a little bit. This plug here in the front is so that you can hand start it with a crank, <laughs> which is kind of funny. That is crazy. Um, they were built to be amphibious, but it has really low freeboard, so it's to go across like calm water, not like a, you know, not like a fast moving creek. Great through uh, snow, you know, wetland, marshy areas and things like that, because it has really low ground pressure. They later made a, a more amphibious version. This is a M29. They made an M29C that had flotation tanks that bolted on the front and on the back. No way. Um, some of them came with a cap stand, uh, you know, winch where you get a couple twists of rope on. And they made them to invade Norway to try to take it back from the Germans. The Norwegians were working on, uh, everybody had some atomic aspirations. And so the Norwegians had uh, some heavy water facilities uh, that I guess you need as part of the processing uranium or whatever, uh, you know, nuclear material. But the plan was to try to build a vehicle like this for Brits and Norwegians. Uh, to invade Norway, and uh, they ended up doing it. A bunch of guys with uh, cross-country skis uh, skied in, blew up the you know important uh, you know valving, plumbing type thing instead of like trying to blow the whole facility apart, and uh, never got it back operational. So mission accomplished without the weasel. <laughs> stuff up but they actually put a bomb box in them with like composition B sort of like the you know precursor to C4 and uh, if the thing broke down we were not supposed to leave it for the enemy to recover. Oh he so ignited. blow up that bomb box and it will blow up the transfer case probably wreck up the engine the transmission and uh, make it non-operational. Studebaker engine so it's a little uh, three-speed and two-speed transfer case 3,800 pounds 20 inch wide tracks got transverse leaf springs, one, two, three, four of them. It drives off the rear sprocket, the fronts are just idlers. Radiators under the windshield, and so the whole thing has like a tunnel that runs through, so it pulls cooling air down through. 